Albert Einstein. Let's play a guessing game. Here are some clues about a famous person who lived a long time ago. See if you can guess who this person is. This person was born in Ulm, Germany, in March of 1879. He spent most of his childhood in the city of Munich. He was a famous scientist who is still very well known today. In fact, he is one of the most famous scientists who ever lived. Some people believe he had speech problems as a child because he didn't start talking until he was four years old. However, when he got older, he often said he could talk before that. He just didn't want to. He also couldn't read until he was nine years old. His parents feared that he wasn't very smart. But that wasn't the case at all. In fact, he was brilliant. Even though he had some struggles with learning as a child, he enjoyed school and liked to read on his own. It is because of him that we have the well known equation that says E equals MC squared. Here is a picture of him. Do you recognize our mystery scientist? Did you say Albert Einstein? If you did, you're right. And if you didn't, that's okay too, because in this video, you are going to learn all about him. Albert Einstein's father owned an electronics store, and it was here where Einstein became interested in science. His father gave him a compass when Einstein was just five years old. From that point on, Albert learned as much as he could about science and electronics from his father. In 1894, when Albert was 15 years old, the Einstein family moved to Italy in search for better work. In addition to science, Einstein also became interested in mathematics. He wanted to study it in school. It was in Switzerland where he finished his education. In 1900, at the age of 21, he graduated from the Polytechnic Academy in Zurich, Switzerland. He earned a degree in math and physics but couldn't find work as a teacher. When Albert Einstein became an adult, people said that he was often disorganized and forgot appointments. He even failed a test to get into college the first time he took it. After college, Einstein's first job was a clerk in a patent office. A patent gives inventors the rights to make, use, or sell their invention. Patents prove that you are the person that invented a product. They also prevent others from copying your work or taking credit for it. While working in the patent office, Einstein reviewed other people's inventions. He also worked on many of his own discoveries and learned a lot. Three years after graduating college, Einstein married his longtime girlfriend. Her name was Maliva Merrick. They had two sons, named Hans Albert and Edward. Later, though, the marriage ended. Eventually, Einstein married his cousin, who was named Elsa Lewenthal, and they had one daughter named Margot. Einstein was Jewish, and during that time in history, the Nazis were mistreating and even killing Jewish people who lived in Europe. The Nazis were a group of German people led by Adolf Hitler. They hated Jewish people and others who they thought weren't as good as them. The Nazis were responsible for the Holocaust, which led to the deaths of millions of people. In 1933, Einstein moved to the United States to avoid the Nazis in Germany. And in 1940, he became a formal citizen of the United States. Einstein's most important contribution to the world of physics and science is his theory of relativity. A theory is an idea about how something works. His theory changed how scientists studied the universe. It led to many modern inventions, including nuclear energy. 
Nuclear energy is the energy that holds atoms together. When the atom is split, it releases that energy. Even though Einstein was against war, his discovery led to the research and development of a famous bomb in our world's history. That bomb was called the atomic bomb. The atomic bomb was a very powerful explosive device. It was used during World War II to blow up Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which are two cities in Japan. Though Einstein did not directly work on inventing the bomb, his work and scientific discoveries were important for the bomb's development. Because of that, his name is often associated with the atomic bomb. One equation from Einstein's theory of relativity is E equals mc squared. The c in this equation represents the speed of light. That light is the fastest speed possible in the universe. Nothing can go faster than how quickly light travels. The E in the equation equals energy, and the M equals mass. Einstein's theory is very complicated, but it basically says that the more mass an object has, or the faster it is going, the more energy it has. For instance, if you roll a bowling ball and a tennis ball down a hill, the bowling ball would get to the bottom quicker than the tennis ball. That's because the bowling ball has more mass than the tennis ball. That mass is what gives the bowling ball more energy, making it move down the hill quicker. Einstein also taught that speed is relative to the observer. How fast you feel or see something moving depends on how close you are to that object. For example, an airplane travels around 500 miles per hour in the sky. That's very fast. But when you are sitting on an airplane, it doesn't feel that fast because you are moving with the airplane as it flies through the air. But if the same airplane flew over your house and you were on the ground watching it, the airplane would appear to be moving a lot quicker. A lot of Albert Einstein's work is our basis for physics today. We work from a lot of his ideas and discoveries as we create new things. Einstein's theory of relativity has led to the creation of GPS systems, the first TVs ever made, nuclear power plants, and many other things. In 1905, Einstein discovered that light is made up of particles called photons. Most other scientists disagreed with his idea. However, in 1919, people realized that he was right. And in 1921, he was given a very impressive award called the Nobel Prize. Nobel Prizes are awarded every year for accomplishments in academic, cultural, or scientific advances. With the help of another scientist named Satyendra Bose, Einstein discovered another state of matter besides solid, liquid, and gas. This discovery is used today in lasers and superconductors. Einstein was a great scientist, but he used to tell people that if he were not a physicist, he would have been a musician. He gained a love for music from his mother and enjoyed playing the violin and piano in his spare time. Albert Einstein died of heart failure in the United States on April 18, 1955, at the age of 76. His body was cremated, but his brain was preserved by scientists. They hoped by studying it, they could find out why he was such a genius. Sure enough, they discovered that his brain is different than those of most humans. In 1999, Time magazine named Albert Einstein the person of the century. That means they thought he was the most interesting person that lived during the last hundred years. Albert Einstein struggled with education early in his life, but he did not give up. He worked hard 
and went on to become one of the most brilliant people in history. So, if you sometimes wonder if you are smart because you struggle in school, remember that one of the most famous people in history started out struggling too. So never give up, and one day you might become the next Albert Einstein. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.